Hey, welcome back YouTube. This is MTG Moxman here, and I hope you're all ready for an exciting day. I hope you're having fun. I hope things are working out for you. Now, today, uh, we got it's, it's Monday, which is awesome. Start of the week, very fresh air. And can you believe we have double masters? Double masters. Number one, the name sucks. I'm, I'm just going to state that now. The name sucks. Wizards, that was the best you could do? Double masters. And you got doubling season, and you're bringing back a lot of cards. Um, I don't know what to make of it yet. I am going to buy at least one box, I think, just to store my in my stuff. But I'm not really sure what to make of this yet when I think of double masters, you know? I, I'm, I've been mulling it over. I've been thinking about it. And I just don't know what to think. You know, it's one of those things you're like, really? And maybe I'm wrong. You know, that, that, it happens. I'm wrong. Um, now, originally we were supposed to have a box opening video before I go any further, um, but one of the payments is not cleared. So I only have one payment from one, one person, uh, in my PayPal account. So I cannot open it until I get both payments and I haven't got response back to see what's going on. So we have to wait. And I know the waiting game sucks, but I'm not just going to crack a box on somebody's word as much as I love you guys. Um, still costs money, right? So please, please keep that in mind. I'm not just going to crack for free. Um, although I'm paying the shipping, although I also get the box topper out of it. That's my, my consolation prize, as it were. So we'll see. Now back to Double Masters. Wow, guys. If you're new to the channel, you've made this far into the video. If you've watched me for any reason, I got like 250 videos you can watch. I got lots of content for you to, to mull over. I got Tony Stark locked in the Iron Man suit. I got all kinds of G.I. Joe Transformers and stuff in the background. You don't even know what's going on there. Please hit subscribe. Mention it to your friends. It's it's okay. You know what? I heard subscribing is it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps me, doesn't hurt you. And I like nachos and cheese. And I have this hankering for Taco Bell, man. Man, I'm having a hard time kicking it. I'm telling you. I'm going to have Taco Bell at some point soon. Because I want some Taco Bell. Big crunch wrap. Delicious. All right, now let's let's go back to my. Oh, by the way, I'm 86 subscribers. So before you know, we're gonna be closing in on the 100 guys. Pause. Tristan, Andrew, the silly finance. Where has he been? He hasn't mentioned things in a while. Come on, guys, let's get me there. All right, now, Double Masters does look interesting. I'll be honest. I am curious. I mean, Wizards is a money making machine right now. I am curious what's gonna happen with that set. I am. Um. But even the Mystery Booster, you know, the Mystery Booster box. Interesting. Um, huge card lot, which I love. I love a big set like that. There's a lot more randomness to it. Um, I mean, Double Master is still just a reprint set for us, though, right, guys? It isn't like a bunch of new cards. Um, it is going to be a reprint set, probably most of it, if not all of it. And it's going to be, you know, making them money, which is what they want. They want to make money. Uh, and it's a little bit of a shame, right? I would rather I'd rather add some more cards to the reserve list, my, reserve list myself. Make it a little bit, uh, just to show that there is collectability in the set and to show stability in the market. Because what happens is, if, if I'm reading this right in my own mind, um, every couple of years, they're almost coming out with new ways of doing the, and then they're not supporting it. So we had, we had uh, Vintage and Legacy. They don't really support that anymore. There's the format, sure, but they're not supporting it. If you're not having tournaments, if you're not supporting it because the player base is dwindling, I get that. Uh, not everyone can afford Black Lotus. I, I get that. I get that. But those are not the only cards to win, and there are comparable cards out there that can add power level. So, why can they not? Why can they not? Come up with some variation. Make new cards. Legacy, legacy Masters. Vintage Masters. Come on, guys. I, I, I already talked about this. They can do this. Instead, they're just abandoning a format for those of us who invested. Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't invest a lot of money, but some people have. Thousands and thousands of dollars, I might add. And now they have nothing they can do. And that sucks. That's, that's horrible. So, if this is truly an investable, collectible game. You know, like just awesome stuff. Everywhere. Come on. Just awesome. Then can't we find a way. That everyone, can we find a medium, Hasbro, where everyone is happy? 
I mean, I'm liking the products. Even if I'm not, even if I think Ikori is too easy to defeat, it's still a cool product. I like the idea. I'm a little mad they don't have the storybooks anymore and the fat packs. As you know, I'm a very big fan of fat packs. Bundles, they call them now. I stopped buying them when I realized they don't add stories anymore. If there's no storybook with a little synapses of stuff, I'm sorry, guys. That sucks, Wizards. Get your act together and put those back in, number one. Then I can start buying. Because I'm not going to spend 50 bucks for a fancy box and 10 packs. Sorry, it's not going to happen. Some places charge more. I it just, no. I'll just go with a booster box, man. And even those. You got, I mean, I know it's a collectible card game, guys. But the prices just keep sliding up. And they shouldn't. I don't know how to say that in any other way. They shouldn't be going up. I understand uh, what's going on in the world has made it a little harder for some people. But it's harder for all of us players too. So I think Wizards should throw you guys a bone. Uh, let's go back to an MSRP. And let's lower things down a bit. It doesn't have to stay down forever. But they can do it for a while. You can make the pain a little bit less. If they're really smart, I told you before, always have a variant or an ultra card somewhere that's very hard to get. So not, you can't complete hundreds of thousands of sets of this, of, of a particular series. You're going to complete 10,000 sets maximum because there's one super hard card. That would be cool. Makes it desirable. Makes a, a sealed box really, you know, ring out in the bell, you know? And, and I really believe in that. Firmly, actually. Um... Now, I understand Wizards doesn't watch my channel. I understand uh, there's only about 100 of you who watch my channel. And of those 100, you know, some of them are my personal friends. Some of them are, are, are the odd new person who just checks out a channel, hits subscribe, and doesn't come back to me for two months. I, I get it. It's fine. It's fine. But for those of you who watch me all the time, take this stuff to heart, man. Learn from it. Seal boxes, I've proven do well. I've showed you my past prices and how I've gone up and how I make my money. That's how you can do it. If I can do it and be happy with a small little margin, Wizards should be happy too. But I still think it's very funny when a new box costs almost as much as an old box from 10 years ago, or 15 years ago, or seven years ago. That's ridiculous because they've jacked up their margins with, with the cost of living and new boxes go up, but the old boxes are not keeping pace, right? Like it's hilarious that I could get, uh, oh, let's just say Battle for Zendikar. 20, what, 2015, uh, right, 2015, so five years ago, and then you can go ahead nowadays, buy a box for 150, 160, 170 dollars, depending on where you're buying it from, with taxes in, but if I sell a box for 200, you're telling me I made like four dollars a year, it's four percent, it's not awful or anything, but it's kind of funny to think about it that way, that if they hadn't have jacked up their prices and kept them low, you'd be making 30 or 40 percent. So where'd the rest of that money go? It's going right into their pockets. And I find that, ah, oh, bothers me so much. <laughs> Just makes you want to season's greeting someone which is on that pen. So I think there's ways of everyone being happy. And I hope Wizards is, is, is learning a little bit as they go along with this stuff. Because the product's good. It's good. Artwork. I love some of the artwork in, in the most recent set. I really do. Like when I look at Ikora, I go, oh my God. Now, could they use some work in some of the cards? Yeah, we could. But that's okay. It is not the end of the world. Everything is doable so far. So I like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm a happy camper. I'm okay with it. But they could do more. They can lower their prices back to you. Shareholders are not going to mind too much. For a year or two, if you're trying to build that base of players more, get it more ingrained in society, right? Like, give away freebies, man. And if you're smart, you give this stuff away to like local schools. A local school has a population will have some richer people, some poorer people, and the middle of the ground people. Well, if you start giving away free cards to everyone, they start playing your card game, they may actually go out and spend a buck or two to get a couple more of those cards. And it builds up your play base so when they're in their 20s. Go, oh my God, remember playing that game? That game was awesome. You're open to broaden it out. That's all I'm saying. There are card clubs. There are games clubs at schools. So, Wizards, take that idea and fly with it, okay? It can, it can do well. Now, before I finish off the video today, 
I just want to say, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much to everyone who watches me all the time. I appreciate it. I appreciate the views. Appreciate the time people put in to actually watch my videos and comment on what's going on. Uh, and I hope you appreciate me for me commenting on the things going on. So Double Masters is going to be very interesting. I know I will at least get one box to add to my box of stuff. Will I buy more? I'll be checking the price point and seeing how it'll go. Um, I'm very curious about it. I am. But isn't it funny how everything had, you know, guys, Ultimate Masters, right? Iconic Masters, Eternal Masters. They were all the next biggest thing before they were the biggest thing. The mistake I think Wizards is going to make, um, they're going to put too many things in, certain ones, devaluing others. Because they just want you to open it. They, they don't care about the secondary market that way. They keep tabs on it, but they don't care about it. So, please keep that in mind, okay? I don't think it'll dip the prices too much because even a box is collectible. Come on. It's still beautiful to look at. And it brings back that nostalgia of what you loved about the game in the first place. And the first time you cracked a pack and looked at some awesome card. Like, I know. I, I still have it now. Even though I know the card. I wish they wouldn't even show all the card lists, by the way. That's the other thing, Wizards. Take away some of those card lists. Don't show us every card. Show us like 75% of the cards. Leave a couple as a surprise for the time, you know, when the openings happen. That's what I would like. Thank you, Wizards. Do that for me. I got them on like the bat phone, you know, direct line. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, sorry, I've been away for a bit. I've been busy with like home stuff and, and it's just, it, you know, I'm building a deck. Okay, I have to rebuild my entire front porch. And it is taking longer than I thought. And it is exhausting. Because I'm old and fat. But that's okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. MTG Moxman. Boomstick!